Hey folks, Alan Nursehall here from Telus World of Science Edmonton. And yes, I am still in my kitchen, but I've changed things up a little bit. Moved the angle so you can see my bird feeders outside. It's a little snowy here in Edmonton. And we have the kitchen sink right here. We're gonna need the kitchen sink for today's little science activity because things could get messy. First thing you need is one ordinary drinking glass. Put some water in it. You like my faucet? I do. Turn it upside down. Gravity! Gravity pulls the water up because the top of the glass is not watertight. If you want a watertight cap on this, you're gonna have to fabricate some sort of special device that can grab it and seal it and become watertight and grip it strong enough that it'll stay on there. So if you fill it up and you don't want the water to pull out, you don't want the water to pour out, you need something special like, how about a piece of cardboard? A piece of cardboard from a file folder. That's what this is. Put it on here. Turn it over. Ta-da! There's, there's an air bubble in there, and there's air out here. In order for that water to fall out, that air bubble has to grow, but that means the pressure inside is gonna, gonna drop. The pressure outside is greater than the pressure inside. It's pushing up, air is pushing up, trying to get into that cup with greater force than gravity is exerting to pull the water down. As a result, we have a perfectly watertight glass for a certain amount of time. This one's a good one! <laughs> and eventually, the seal breaks and water comes out. Try it over the sink. Alan Nursall, live from Alan Nursall's kitchen, over and out.